Ladies and gentlemen, announcing the arrival of His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., President, Republic of the Philippines. The uh, President, together with the Honorable Attorney Bernard Abolos Jr., Secretary of the Department of the Interior and Local Government, and the Chief of the Philippine National Police, Police General Romel Francisco Marville, are now inspecting the PNP assets. The guests inside the hall may now be seated.
and gentlemen, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., President Republic of the Philippines, is being accompanied by Police General Romel Francisco Marbil, Chief Philippine ah. National Police for the Four Year Honors. With our foyer commanders, Police Brigadier General William Segun of the Police Security and Protection Group. The foyer honors have been completed. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Please remain standing for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem to be followed by the invocation to be officiated by Police Brigadier General Jason Ortizo, Director PNP Chaplain Service. Bayang magiliw, peras ng silanganan, alab ng puso, sa dibi mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, tuyan ka ng magiting Sa manlulupi, di ka pasisiil Sa dagat at bundok, sa simoy at sa langit mong bugaw May nilagang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal Ang kislap ng wataw at mo'y tagumpay na nagdilingling Ang bituin at araw niya kailan pa may di magdililing Lupa ng araw ng luwal, hatit pagsinta, buhay langit sa piling mo. Ang ligaya na pag may mga api, ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo. With all humility in our hearts, let us bow our heads and be aware of God's loving presence. Let us pray. Almighty God, we gather together with praise and thanksgiving for all that you have done for us. We thank you for the days that passed with all our success, and we are all the more grateful for your continuous guidance to the PNP up and beyond our 123rd Police Service Anniversary Celebration. Ardently we pray that the spirit of this historic celebration will inspire us to fulfill our mandate to serve and protect without fear or favor. Bestow your perpetual blessings to the entire organization headed by our beloved Chief PNP as much as we reinforce our service with the theme of our anniversary. Bind us all with your ever-saving grace, so that whatever we do and wherever we go, may your divine providence and sacred healing encompass us, keeping us safe and blessing our way as we remain committed to our sworn duties and responsibilities as resilient as ever. On this special day, we consecrate into your most gracious heart our beloved President, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. We humbly pray that you continue to anoint him with wisdom, courage, and strength from on high so that with him, the PNP organization and the entire country will march forward with dignity, honor, and pride. For the greater glory of your heavenly kingdom, Grant all that we ask and pray in your most holy name. Amen. May we now be seated.
Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today, we are celebrating the 123rd Police Service Anniversary with this year's theme, Sa Bagong Pilipinas, Ang Gusto ng Pulis, Ligtas Ka! With His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., President, Republic of the Philippines, as our guest of honor and speaker. And now, may we invite Police General Romel Francisco de Marbil, Chief of the Philippine National Police, to deliver his welcome remarks and anniversary message. Magandang uh, umaga po sa inyo lahat. Uh, good morning to everybody. To our guest of honor and speaker, His Excellency President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines, to the Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, Attorney Benjamin C. Abalos Jr., the, the Secretary of the Department of the Interior Local Government, heads and representatives of other government agencies, former chiefs of the Philippine National Police, men and women of the Philippine National Police, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we gather to commemorate a significant milestone in the illustrious history of the Philippine National Police as we celebrate the 123rd Police Service Anniversary with the team Sa Bagong Pilipinas, Ang Gusto ng Police, Ligtas Ka. As we reflect on our storied past, we are reminded of the PNP's crucial role in shaping our nation's narrative. From humble beginnings to our current structure, we have been a cornerstone of peace and order, continuously adapting to the, and meet the needs of the society. On our, on our history is rich and with bravery, sacrifice, and commitment, the legacy of our predecessors inspire us as we uphold the values of service, honor, and justice in our ongoing service to the Filipino people. In embracing the vision of Bagong Pilipinas, set forth by the President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., we see a compelling pictures of progress. The, the PNP's Capability Enhancement Program is committed to advancing our move, shoot, communicate, and investigate capabilities. This initiative encompasses a fleet of 2,379 vehicles, 28,580 firearms, and 8,189 pieces of communication and investigation equipment. A recent procurement valued at 553,342,820 pesos. Includes personal carriers, light motorcycles, transport vehicles, patrol jeeps, light machine guns, these upgrades have significantly enhanced our operational capacity, ensuring more effective and efficient responses and bolstering community safety. We're also proud to announce the completion of the PNP indoor firing range with phases two and three underway. This state-of-the-art soundproof facility provides 24-7 access for uninterrupted training, regardless of weather condition or external factors. It enhances the marksmanship and tactical skills, preparing our officers to tackle modern law enforcement challenges with greater confidence and effective effectiveness. In enlightenment with President Marcos' third State of the Nation address, which highlighted the urgent need for digitalization, we have intensified our modernization efforts and advancement in our police regional offices, such as in PRO 4A, the Power Service Mobile Application, PRO 9 GEO 8 System, DPRM Online Personal and Records Management Systems, and PNP Electronic Beneficiaries Assistance and Scholarship Program. These cutting edge tools bring critical services and information right to the fingertips, enabling more effective community service and ensuring that help is always just a touch away. In today's world, 
where cybersecurity is an escalating threat. The PNP stands at the forefront of this battle, leading efforts to defend and protect the people against digital threats. The, establish the establishment of the Cybersecurity Operations Center represents a pivotal advance in securing our nation's modern infrastructure and thwarting cyber attacks thereby enforces our steadfast commitment to safeguarding the cyber landscape of everyone. On the other hand, we have efficiently and promptly delivered frontline services to the community. We strictly follow the 8515 deployment scheme, ensuring that 85% of our personnel are dedicated to active field duties, while the remaining 15% handle administrative functions. This approach guarantees a ro robust police visibility through both foot and mobile patrols, as well as prompt responses to calls for assistance. To do this, the National Headquarters personnel, PSPG, and other units, including mobile groups, have been strategically downloaded to the National Capital Region Office. This is right-sizing approach enhances police visibility and it strengthens crime prevention by concentrating resources in high-priority areas. Our commitment to community safety is also demonstrated through our effort for the revitalized DILG Emergency 911 service, set to the piloted in the National Capital Region and expanded nationwide. This initiative aims to reduce response time from 15 minutes to approximately five minutes, ensuring faster and more effective emergency assistance. To enhance our services, we have also introduced key initiatives, including the streamlined processing of license to own and possess firearms applications, the installation of the permit to carry firearms in PRO8 or Tacloban, and the launch of the PNP automated retirement processing systems for all our retirees nationwide. These advancements are designed to reduce bureaucratic obstacles and improve the ease of doing business, offering greater efficiency and accessibility for both our personnel and the community. The impact of these initiatives is evident in the reduction of overall crime volume by 14,666 from July 2023 to June 2024. Significant decreases in rape, carnapping, robbery, along with a 21.09% reduction in cybercrime incidents, highlight the effectiveness of our upgraded capabilities and efforts. Further, our anti-illegal drugs campaign has made remarkable strides, with the value of drugs ceased increasing to approximately 36.5 billion pesos between July 1, 2022 to July 31, 2024, to include the 9.68 billion pesos Aliglag Tag Batangas, the largest hole in history and the highest recorded seized illegal drugs. Our holistic approach which includes law enforcement, prevention, rehabilitation, and community engagement support, supports both the recovery and integration of individuals grappling with addiction and the harmful effects of illegal drugs. Our battle against drug abuse transcends mere law enforcement. It fundamentally aims to uphold the very fabric of our society as we pursue our anti-illegal drug campaign targeting high-value individuals and identifying drug sources. We remain dedicated to preserving human life. Our efforts ensure the well-being and dignity of every member of the community. These noble endeavors have transformed our communities, our streets are safer, fear has diminished, and families enjoy their homes without looming threat of crime. Children play freely with genuine smiles, and the improved safety has enhanced the quality of life attracting more visitors and boosting community well-being. As we look to the future, our commitment to the safety and well-being of our communities remains unfaltering. 
We will continue to strengthen our partnerships with the public, collaborate with other law enforcement agencies, and maintain the high standards of transparency and accountability. Guided by the President's Bagong Pilipinas vision, we are dedicated to sustain our proactive approach to policing, enhancing our information and communication technology capabilities, and integrating artificial intelligence into our operations to bolster our crime prevention and investigation efforts. At this juncture, I would like to express my deepest appreciation to His Excellency, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., whose exemplary leadership has propelled us toward our shared goals of peace, security, and public welfare. To our stakeholders and supporters, your wavering commitment has been instrumental in our progress. To the courageous men and women of the Philippine National Police, both uniform and non-uniform, and to our all awardees today, your sacrifices and dedication inspires us all. Let us remember the profound words of our PNP hymn, Ihandog ang iisang buhay. These words encapsulate our tribute to our organization and our fallen heroes to motivate us to pursue our mission with valor. Finally, we give thanks to God for His divine guidance and blessings, which empower us with the strength, wisdom, and perseverance to realize our noble inspiration. As we celebrate this milestone, let us reaffirm our commitment to the values that have guided us for a, very, for a, a century. Together, we will continue to build our achievements and strive for even greater heights, ensuring that the PNP remains an exemplar of hope, safety, and integrity for all Filipinos. Let us stay true to the PNP vision of mahusay, matatag, at maaasahan na kapulisan. This vision reflects our dedication to evolving into a modern Filipino police force for a modern Filipino society. Once again, welcome to this momentous event and happy 123rd, 123rd police service anniversary to all. Sa bagong Pilipinas, ang gusto ng police. Pulitin po natin. In, in English, in, the, in our new country, in the new Philippines, the... <coughs> The promise of the police is to make sure you're safe for our foreigners. So, ulitin po namin sa mga Tagalog. Sa bagong Pilipinas, ang gusto ng police! Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, sir. At this juncture, we will proceed to the recognition of the PNP units and personnel and stakeholders for the outstanding services they have rendered. We would like to request the awardees to rise and move forward for the presentation of awards. To present the awards, may we request His Excellency Ferdinand Mar R. Marcos Jr., President, Republic of the Philippines, to proceed on stage to be assisted by the Interior and Local Government Secretary Ben Hur Abalos and the Chief Philippine National Police, Police General Romel Francisco Marbil. Best Senior Police Commission Officer for Administration is awarded to Police Colonel Samuel Delorino of Police Regional Office 4B. Best Senior Police Commission Officer for Operations is awarded to Police Colonel Jess Mendez of the National Capital Region Police Office. Best Junior Police Commission Officer for Administration is awarded to Police Lieutenant Colonel Baldwin Sokoken Jr. of Police Regional Office, Cordillera Administrative Region. Best Junior Police Commission Officer for Operations is awarded to Police Major Renante Arambuyong of Police Regional Office 5.
Best Senior Police Non-Commissioned Officer for Administration is awarded to Police Executive Master Sergeant Rodalin Sorongon of Police Regional Office 6. Best Senior Police Non-Commissioned Officer for Operations is awarded to Police Senior Master Sergeant Nomer Sabakan of Police Regional Office 9. Best Junior Police Non-Commissioned Officer for Administration is awarded to Police Corporal Albenyashir Sahibal of Police Regional Office 9. Best Junior Police Non-Commissioned Officer for Operations is awarded to Police Corporal Ray G. Lemera of Police Regional Office 6. Best Non-Uniform Personnel for Supervisory Level is awarded to NUP Edna Baklayo of Police Regional Office 4B. Best Non-Uniform Personnel for Non-Supervisory Level is awarded to NUP Marites Serio of Finance Service. Special Unit Awardee, PNP Unit for Police Regional Office Level and Special Award for the Most Number of Arrests on Drugs for Police Regional Office Level is awarded to the National Capital Region Police Office. And the award will be received by the Regional Director, Police Major General Jose Melencio C. Nartates, Jr. Special Unit Awardee, PNP Unit for Police Provincial Office Level is awarded to Davao Norte Police Provincial Office, Police Regional Office 11. The award will be received by the Provincial Director, Police Colonel Alexander Serrano Jr. Special Unit Awardee for Non-Government Organization is awarded to the Member Church of God International of Police Regional Office 5. And the award will be received by Brother Danny Novales of MCGI Representative. Special Individual Awardee for PNP Personnel is awarded to Police Colonel Jenny Texon, Chief District Community Affairs and Development Division, Southern Police District, and CRPO. Special Individual Awardee for Private Individual is awarded to Ms. Josefa Prado Callos from Police Regional Office 5. Special Unit Awardee for Local Government Unit, Congressional District is awarded to the Office of the 1st Congressional District of Ilocos Norte, Police Regional Office 1. And the award will be received by Police Colonel Frederick Eslava Obar, Provincial Director, Ilocos Norte, Police Provincial Office. Special Unit Awardee for Local Government Unit, Provincial Government Level is awarded to the Provincial Government of Cavite. And the award will be received by Mr. Alvin Mojica, Provincial Administrator, Provincial Government of Cavite. Special Unit Awardee for Local Government Unit, City Government Level is awarded to Tugegaro City, Cagayan. And the award will be received by Honorable Mayla Rosario Tinque, City Mayor. And now for our unit awardees and special award for highest service efficiency is awarded to Police Regional Office 2. The award will be received by Police Brigadier General Christopher Birum 
Regional Director. Special award for most number of arrests on drugs district level is awarded to the Southern Police District and the award will be received by Police Brigadier General Leon Victor Rosete, District Director. Special award for most number of arrests on drugs Police Provincial Office level is awarded to Cavite Police Provincial Office and the award will be received by Police Colonel Eleuterio Ricardo Jr., Provincial Director. Special award for most number of arrests on drugs City Police Office level is awarded to Mandawe City Police Office and the award will be received by Police Colonel Julius Sagandoy, City Director. Special award for most number of arrests on drugs, City Police Station Level Class A is awarded to Dasmarinas City Police Station. And the award will be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Julius Balano, Chief of Police, Police Regional Office 4A. Special award for most number of arrests on drugs, City Police Station Level Class B is awarded to Cavite City Police Station, Police Regional Office 4A. And the award will be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Guste, Chief of Police. Special award for most number of arrests on drugs, City Police Station Level Class C is awarded to Cabancalan City Police Station, Police Regional Office 6. And the award will be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Roberto Indiape Jr., Chief of Police. Special award for most number of arrests on drugs, Municipal Police Station Level Class A is awarded to San Antonio. Mateo Municipal Police Station, Police Regional Office 4A. And the award will be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Eli, Officer in Charge. Special award for most number of arrests on drugs, Municipal Police Station Level Class B is awarded to EPIL Municipal Police Station, Police Regional Office 9. And the award will be received by Police Major Sonny Joe Amponin, Officer in Charge. Special award for most number of arrests on drugs, Municipal Police Station Level Class C is awarded to Amadeo Municipal Police Station, Police Regional Office 4A. And the award will be received by Police Major Gilbert Derla, Chief of Police. And last, special award for most number of arrests on drugs, numbered police station level, is awarded to Station 6 Taguig, Southern Police District. And the award will be received by Police Colonel Christopher Olazo, Acting Chief of Police. Thank you very much. Congratulations to all the awardees. Let us all give them a warm applause. At this juncture, may we request the Secretary of the Interior and Local Government, Attorney Ben Horsi Abalos, to introduce our guest of honor and speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand Romual Cortez Marcos, Jr. Thank you uh, to uh, the uh, Secretary of the Department of Interior and Local Government, Secretary um, Ben-Hur Abalos, for his uh, introduction. Please uh, take your seats. The ex Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps who have joined us here this morning, National Security Council, Secretary Ed Año, the NAPOCOM Vice Chairperson and Executive Officer Alberto Bernardo, and the other heads of government agencies that are present with us. 
the Philippine National Police Chief, Police General Romel Francisco Marvil, AFP Chief of Staff General Romy Browner, the officers, non-commissioned personnel, and civilian employees of the PNP, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is with pleasure that I join you today to uh, be with our country's brave peacekeepers and protectors as we celebrate the 123rd police service anniversary. For over a century, our police force has stood as guardians of peace, of order, and safety in our communities, ensuring the well-being, the security, and the dignity of every Filipino. This noble work is perfectly captured in this year's commemoration theme, Sa Bagong Pilipinas, Ang Gusto ng Pulis, Ligtas Ka, which banners the PNP's aspirations in this new chapter of our nation's history. Not only does this speak of our law enforcement's commitment to ensure the welfare of our people, but it also advocates for a more profound transformation in the image of the police under a Bagong Pilipinas. Sa ilalim ng bagong Pilipinas, ang ating mga kapulisan ay maaasahan, malalapitan, at mapagkakatiwalaan. Malakas ang kumpiyansa at matatag ang ugnayan sa pagitan ng pulisya at, saka mga, at sa sambayanan. At tayong lahat ay nagkakaisa sa ating mithiing makamit ang isang mas mapayapa at maunlad na bayan. I acknowledge the strong determination of our peace to maintain of our police to maintain peace, security, and harmony in our beloved country. I salute all of the officers and personnel of the PNP under the current leadership of Police General Romel Marbil. His tenure over the past months has been filled with noteworthy reforms and achievements that we can proudly present to the Filipino public. Under General Marbil, the police have taken aggressive steps towards sustaining the gains of peace and order that we have collectively and painstakingly worked hard for. The PNP has intensified its patrol operations and increased police deployment, contributing to a notable drop in crime rates, particularly in what was formerly crime-prone areas. Under your leadership, the police has responded to nearly all or to be, uh, quote the actual number, 99% of the calls for police assistance. Last May 30, we operationalized the PNP Cyber Security Operations Center to intensify our cyber patrolling. This initiative enhances our police cyber security capabilities, thus ensuring that the police can handle the complexities of cyber crimes. Our crackdown on illegal drugs, smuggling, illegal gambling, private armed groups, human trafficking, and criminality has also strengthened significantly in the ways that are not only effective, but legal and lawful. Indeed, police operations are now conducted as humane, as truthful, and as bloodless as possible. Last, lastly, your joint operations with the AFP on internal security have led to the neutralization of close to 2,000 or 1,951 members of local and communist terrorist groups. These achievements were made possible because the PNP's resolve to uphold the rule of law and the unparalleled dedication and service of our police officers led, of course, by our chief PNP, General Marbil. To, the, to, the, to Chief Marbil, to PNP Chief Marbil, you carry on your shoulders the honorable task of leading this paradigm shift, this transformation that we are doing not only for the police, but for the entire society of the Philippines. Wherein our police are not feared, but welcome in our communities. Wherein communities work with the police out of trust, not mere compliance. And where citizens themselves become partners, vigilant partners, against crime. In carrying out this task, the police needs to be disciplined, transparent, and fair. Erring and corrupt police personnel will face the appropriate sanctions. Remember, your mandate and place, and place in public safety and service is at the core of your duty. 
I also urge all police personnel to support the leadership of the PNP. I trust that you will sustain your current initiatives and take care of the people's increasing confidence in the PNP's abilities. So as we commemorate your anniversary, we commend your sacrifices, hard work, and genuine service for the country. Remember that your tasks, regardless of magnitude or gravity, leave an impact on the lives of our people. And to all our awardees this year, my sincerest congratulations on your well-deserved recognition. May you serve as an inspiration for others to serve our people with integrity, excellence, and utmost dedication. To all the officers and personnel of the PNP, rest assured, we are prioritizing your welfare and also that of your families. This administration remains committed. This administration remains committed to supporting the PNP through the Comprehensive Capability Enhancement Program. We will also continue to provide additional logistical resources and advanced information technology tools to further empower our police force. As long as we are united by our common goal of protecting our people and ensuring that the rule of law reigns supreme, we are on track towards a safe, secure, and empowered Bagong Pilipinas. Once again, a happy 123rd anniversary to the Philippine National, National Police. Mabuhay ang ating kapulisan, mabuhay ang Bagong Pilipinas. Maraming salamat at magandang umaga sa inyo lahat. Thank you very much, sir. We will now proceed to the presentation of Memento to our guest of honor and speaker. And to present the Memento is Police General Romel Francisco Marville, Chief Philippine National Police. This memento is presented to His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., President, Republic of the Philippines, on the occasion of the 123rd Police Service Anniversary Celebration. Embedded are the evolution emblems of the Philippine National Police since its creation in 1901 to present. The three big stars symbolizes Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, and the 18 stars at the base symbolizes the 18 police regional offices. Given this 8th day of August 2024 at the National Headquarters, Philippine National Police. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. President. And sir, we may now go back to our respective seats for the singing of the PNP Lingkod ng Bayan. Katahimikan PNP lingkod ng bayan Kriminal aming kalaban Mamamayan paglilingkuran Sa bayan at mamamayan PNP ang inyong sandigan Integridad, disiplina at kasanayan Gabay sa tungkuling alay Makadiyos at makabayan Makatao at makakalikasan Sa tungkuli namin karangalan Ihandog ang isang buhay Batas ay patutupad Pantay-pantay para sa lahat Walang mayaman o mahirap Ang dulot sa bayan ay galak PNP mamamayan magtulungan Kaayusan katatagan nating kamdan Kalakalan o unlad na tunay Kapayapa ay ating tagumpay Makadiyos at makabayan 
Makatao at makakalikasan Sa tungkulin namin karangalan Ihandog ang isang buhay Ihandog ang isang buhay At this point, may we request the President, sir, to kindly grant us a group photo. Everyone, please turn your attention to the stage area and compress to the center. May we request everyone, our distinguished guests, sir and ma'am, to kindly compress to the center for the photo opportunity. We request our senior officers at the back to please join our president for the photo opportunity. May we request all our senior officers at the back to please join our president for a photo opportunity. Mr. President, sir, at the count of three. One, two, three. Thank you very much, Mr. President, and that concludes our program. Once again, we would like to thank His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines, for raising the 123rd Police Service Anniversary Celebration. Congratulations to our awardees. Magandang umaga po, mabuhay ang Philippine National Police. At dito sa bagong Pilipinas, ang gusto ng police, ligtas ka!